Hello, welcome. Day 12 of the 200 miles in December running challenge for myself and for Nigel. Um, quick update on Nigel. Uh, Nigel yesterday actually went through the 100 mile mark, so he's on 100 miles already, which is fantastic. And you know that that's officially day 11 because he won't. That doesn't include today's miles for him. So um, 100 miles for Nigel. 100 miles up, and um, well before the halfway point. So he is well on on schedule to get to the end of the 200 mile challenge in December, no problem. Myself today on day 12, 4.1 miles today. So if I just take a quick look at the spreadsheet, that is a total of 90.7 that I'm on. So fingers crossed tomorrow I'll get to the 100 mile mark with a few days to spare prior to the halfway point. So I would say that I'm pretty happy with that and a 90.7 is is a good place for me to be at at this stage. Um, the place where we should currently be at is at the end of today, we should be at 78 miles. So um, both myself and Nigel are up on this running challenge. Um, and what I wanted to bring up today was, is obviously you set yourself goals in life and you set yourself fitness goals in particular. And I think the why needs to be a little bit bigger than the scale or the why needs to be a little bit bigger than than weight loss okay and my my why is because I want to be fit and healthy for my profession I want to help people do the same things as what I've done and I want to understand the process that people have to go through in order to become fit and healthy so my aim is a healthier lifestyle and to become a good runner now the most important thing is is in that process of wanting to become a good runner and to help people and to understand a fit and healthy lifestyle, the byproduct is weight loss. Um, so I think I can start to see a difference now as well, but the, the comments are flying in at the moment and I should think so as well, 12 days of straight running, um, especially with, with the miles that I've been covering. I think it's, it's been quite evident to see the byproduct of having this goal of 200 miles, a healthy lifestyle, and wanting to understand how to do it for others, having that as my overall goal, the why, and the bigger picture is why, rather than weight loss or scale has to move. That because my why is more important than the scale, it gives me a reason to go out there every single day and fight for it. Whereas if you're fighting for a scale, the scale might not move. There's loads of environmental factors that could it could affect why why the scale doesn't move for for you ladies watching the the menstrual cycle cycle that could uh, that could affect it. Um, what you're eating day to day that would affect it. You know the amount of water and hydration that you have or dehydration that you have that would affect it. You know you can go to the toilet and the scales can change by a kilo here and there anyway. So. The why's got to be bigger than the scales. And this challenge for me has given me more of a why as to why I want to get out there. I want to achieve something, 200 miles, but as a great byproduct to that, I have to say, weight loss has occurred. And that's just a byproduct of my goal. And that will happen for you as well. So make your why, set yourself a goal, ask yourself why you're doing it, and go out there and attack it and fight it. Have a great Monday. And hopefully I'll patch in with you tomorrow, having gone on or very close to the 100 mile mark. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.